Alright, so you've been given a circuit uh, which appears to be a series circuit with three resistors in it. Uh, R1 is 1500 uh, ohms, R2 is 4700 ohms, and R3 is 1000 uh, ohms. In addition to these three resistors, you also have a 5 volt voltage source in the circuit. You've been asked to find the voltage is seen across R1, the voltage is seen across R2, and the voltage is seen across R3. So how do you go about setting this up? Uh, first of all, use uh, onto a uh, breadboard. So my suggestion to uh, students is uh, always start off first by putting the components uh, onto the table in the order and the pattern in which they're actually in the circuit. So given that that's the case, we'll put R1 onto our uh, circuit right there. That's our R1. Our R2, which is a 4700 ohm resistor, we're going to put into position number two. And R3, we're going to put the 1000 ohm resistor, which is uh, there. Okay. Now our task is to go ahead and put this onto a breadboard such that we can go ahead and check for the voltages and currents across the resistors. Okay, so this is our circuit again. So let's go ahead now and put this on the resistors onto the breadboard. Okay, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the resistors from the board over here and I'm going to put those onto the, um, onto the breadboard. So I'm going to start here first but by putting <clears throat> excuse me by putting the 1500 ohm resistor and you'll notice that I'm putting the 1500 ohm resistors leg here in the voltage supply or the positive voltage supply uh run here or bus and then I'm going to put the other leg into one of these pins over here so I have one leg over here in the positive voltage supply bus and the other leg over here. Okay. Now I'm going to take resistor number two, which is our 4700 ohm resistor, and I'm going to connect that to that resistor in series. So what that means is that the current that would be running through this resistor will just go into this resistor and come out of this resistor. And then I'll take the third resistor and I'll put that into series and then also connect that back to the negative voltage supply of from our source okay so now what we have here is the voltage supply coming in here which then goes to our 1500 ohm resistor which then goes to the 4700 ohm resistor which then goes to the 1000 ohm resistor and then back to the uh, voltage source which I'll connect up here all right so okay, now that I've been uh, I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and connect my whoops my voltage source into into the circuit using these uh, banana plugs here, and so these now are going to be bringing my voltage uh, from a power supply that's off screen here onto the board and by the way this is the entire board okay but I just wanted to make sure that you got a clear view as to where the circuit is at least alright so this is the circuit here now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my voltage alright so my voltage is now on and so what I need to do is I need to check the voltage is seen across these, each of the resistors there and so what I have now is a voltage meter that is uh, connected or not connected but I have voltage meter it's turned on already I have my since I have a four, 5 volt voltage source into the circuit I expect that my maximum voltage is going to be uh, no more than uh, 20 but it could possibly be more than 2 across any given resistor so I'll go ahead and set that on to 20 and also I'll make sure that my uh, red lead here is going into the uh, voltage output or voltage terminal and then of course my black lead is going into the common all right so from here now what I'm going to do is check the voltage across each of the resistors and the voltage across each of the resistors in order to check the voltage across each of the resistors what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 
and connect the probes from the voltmeter across the resistors and so what I end up getting here whoops and let me get my hand out of the way whoops as you can see I have a hundred uh, pardon me 1.04 volts across this resistor which is resistor number one looking at resistor number two and again you touch each of the leads with the, the uh, with the okay I got 3.22 volts across uh, this resistor here 3.22 all right and then for resistor number three so since this is a total of five volts remember we expect to have a total of five volts across when we sum up all three resistors we expect to have those voltages across each of the resistors and so I check across this resistor here and let me get my fingers out of the way here and what this says across resistor number three all right so again I'm touching this third resistor here one lead on each leg and I get point yeah, that stabilized 0.69 as the voltage across the three of those resistors okay so that's how you check the voltage across the resistors in order to check the current in order to check the current remember what you have to do is you have to break the circuit right in order to break the circuit you pick a point to break the circuit at and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the circuit at this point right here at this point right here okay I'm going to break the circuit at that point so I move the leg down here so they're not in the same line there uh, in addition to breaking the circuit what I need to do is I need to adjust my multimeter so that it checks for current now and so I'm going to go ahead and move my lead I'm, I'm going to put it on the screen in a minute and you remember you're checking DC uh, you're checking from a DC voltage source here so you're going to be using the DC settings and on this multimeter my voltages were up here this was my DC voltage source and my AC pardon me my uh, current DC current is going to be right below here what I've done is so far I've set it on to two uh, milliamps and we'll go ahead and check that and the way that we check that again, you have to break the circuit, which I just did, and then we're going to take the terminals of the uh, the ammeter in this case, a multimeter, and I'm going to check the voltage across, or pardon me, not across, but uh, at each of the points where the break occurred. And again, um, I guess I didn't mention this, I had to change my uh, red lead over to the current side of the voltmeter and you're gonna have to do that if you're dealing with a multimeter all right so in order to check current now I put the lead on here and the lead on here and what it says is that my current is 0.68 oops 0.85 pardon me 0.685 milliamps okay 0.8 pardon me 0.685 milliamps and so that's a current that's going to be running through all three of these components here uh, when the circuit is actually connected all right that's a current that's actually running through all three of those components and that's how you would check if you had a series circuit if you have a series circuit and I'll put the circuit back on the screen if you have a series circuit that's how you would check the current through that series circuit and how you check the voltage across that series circuit. I took the probes from the voltage meter and I touched onto each of the resistor legs, so each resistor legs in order to find voltage and then in order to find current, what I did was I broke the circuit at this point down here and I inserted the ammeter in order to do in order to check the current through there. All right. So that's the end of uh this uh session.